So we're gonna do dumpling dough, which I was a little intimidated by until I followed the recipe and it's flour and salt and room temperature water. And they say do it with a chopstick. I don't have a chopstick, but I have a skewer. So we're gonna slowly drizzle the water on in and the dough is gonna come to a consistency. Once it's all together, I'm gonna let it rest for 30 minutes while we make our filling. It's a chopstick and I don't know what that means, but it's coming together. All the dough is together. Now we're gonna put a damp towel on it and let it rest for 30 minutes. It's all in the prep here. So we're gonna do sausage and shrimp dumplings. And as my filler and a little bit of crunch, I did green cabbage, I have some water chestnuts, cilantro and scallion sliced up, some fresh garlic and eggs. And then I'm gonna use some Asian products, obviously sesame oil, rice vinegar, a little hoisin, allspice and ground ginger. I love garlic. Uh, most people love, if you like garlic, you love garlic in my opinion. So I always put a little extra garlic, but a little trick. I've shown you that we buy it whole and I peel it and I put it in a mason jar and it lasts double the amount of time than if you buy the peeled stuff or if you put it in a Ziploc baggie. Um, but a good little trick to get a good mince is knife, garlic clove, and just smash it down. Once it's all smashed down, then we'll run our knife through it. But this helps just get it a little bit flat. And this is also a good way, that's how I know how to do it, because this is the way I peel my garlic, is I take the cloves and I crack it down. In our bowl here, we chopped up 16 by 20 shrimp. We got our water chestnuts, our garlic, cilantro and scallions. This is just the green cabbage. On the bottom is our sausage, and I did a little bit of soy, poison, allspice, rice wine vinegar, and sesame oil. We're gonna get this all mixed together and let it rest while then we break out our dough that's been sitting here for 30 minutes. Is we're just gonna knead this into a circle. Now, I hate the texture of dough. Um, so it looks like they do a circle. We're gonna loosen it in the middle and get this going into a nice ring form. And then we're gonna cut them into an inch and a half pieces and roll them out. Our fillings on the side, my circle does not look like their circle. Their circle looks like this. Let's do it like this for a second. And we'll cut the pieces. The system only makes four, but it's gotta make it more than four. This is why I love the rest of these. I got it in my head that I'm gonna make dumplings with them. So, I feel kinda like a gnocchi. The end over there. Um, gonna kind of cut it dumpling wise, and then once I have it cut, we're gonna make little circles out of it. I already floured and um, had my sheet pan ready for this to go on, and a little extra flour was just thrown on the table so these don't stick. Um, I don't have a bench scraper at home, so I'm using a flat spatula, and a little bit we're gonna have to roll them out using my little fingers kind of make them in a circle and then once I do this to all of them then I'll do each one individually with a roller. Uh, you don't want to overwork the dough because then it's going to get very gummy so it's really being very gentle and try not to add too much flour. The flour is just there to so it doesn't stick. So we're going to go like this with each one. I could not imagine being a little Chinaman in Chinatown doing this as a daily job because my hands are tired. I'm only on dumpling number four right now. I rolled them all out. I got our filling and taking the filling and putting it in the middle of our little circle. No water or anything and we're just sealing it, pushing it down and we're making a little dumpling. Here we go, look, a little dumpling. I already tested one out, came out pretty good, but this is what it looks like and I got boiling water and they cook for around 10 minutes and we make a little soy ginger vinaigrette for dipping sauce. But there's our homemade dumpling. I have a perfectly round dumpling dough. Cup your hand, taking the filling, I'm using teaspoons because it's a little smaller, right in the middle. And then I'm gonna pinch it up, and use my middle finger to kind of push the filling down, and here we go. Sealing up the perfect dumpling. Check that out. There we go, I got my water on. I'm so excited that we did this. Um, it took around 10 to 12 minutes, 
boil in water. I just add a little sea salt. Um, and they're out. Let's cut it open. Filling is nice and cooked. And all I did was a little bit of soy and rice wine vinegar on the side. Put them in my hand. Put them on the 